Let us understand different approaches to load the data into Spark Metastore table. Into table will append in the existing table. We have already seen this uh, quite a few times. Let's uh, review what happens if we run into table multiple times. If you want to override the existing data, you can use the override clause. So instead of just saying into table table name, we just have to say override into table table name. If the table contain data already, the data will be deleted and only the new data will be there in the table after the command is executed successfully. Already we have created this table called as orders and we have loaded data into the table. Let's review that. I am connecting to the database and then I am running this select count of one from orders and you will see that uh, it will return 68,883 records. You can also validate this location to confirm that it have one file and you can see the file name which is same as whatever we have as part of the source locations which we have used to copy the file from. In uh, local file system it is part hyphen five zeros even in HDFS it is part hyphen five zeros irrespective from where we uh, ran the load command earlier uh, the file name is part hyphen five zeros because it is what it is uh, in the source uh, from where the files are copied from. Now if I rerun this command again using into table and if you actually run this command to list the files, you will see two files. If the file name already exists, then it will actually append up underscore copy, underscore one, underscore copy, underscore two, so and so forth. And it will keep on adding the files into the location. Now, if you look at the results, because we have loaded the tables uh, twice with the same data, we are seeing double the number of 68,883, which is nothing but 137,766. Now, if you just want to overwrite the existing data in the table and add only the new data from the source, whether it is local file system or HDFS, you just have to use overwrite before into table. It will take care of overwriting the existing data. Now, if I run this, it will run successfully. And if we validate, we will be seeing only one file with the part hyphen five zeros. And if you run count, we'll be seeing only 68,883 records. So this is how you can actually load data using two different approaches. One is with into table, another one is with overwrite into table. Into table will add files to the existing location without touching the existing files. Overwrite will delete all the files in the existing location pointed by our Spark Metastore table, and it will only copy the new files from the source from where we ran the load command.